For more on that conference, let's cross live to our correspondent Daniel Han in Islamabad. Hello, Daniel. You've been following the event very closely. So, what are the main items on the agenda of this meeting, and what can we expect to see achieved? Uh, well, the meeting is taking place uh, to help advance the Afghanistan government's hope uh, for peace uh, talks with the Taliban. Now, uh, while uh, all sides hope uh, for progress in today's me uh, meeting, uh, Taliban insurgents have not yet uh, signal uh, signaled whether uh, they will uh, cease hostilities and join the process. Now, the diplomats are trying to uh, prepare a roadmap uh, for a sustainable and uh, uh, productive uh, peace process and uh, consider what to do with about the Taliban uh, factions that oppose the talks and refuse to end hostilities but uh, there are expectations that a road map uh, for peace negotiations uh, with the Taliban will be finalized at the meeting today and uh, the Taliban last week uh, restated its uh, demand for uh, joining the peace process uh, they uh, include uh, the release of its imprisoned uh, members uh, removal of uh, United Nations uh, travel and uh, uh, financial restrictions on senior insurgent leaders and uh, withdrawal of all foreign troops from Afghanistan but uh, the advisor to Pakistan's uh, Prime Minister on Foreign Affairs uh, clearly stated uh, in the first meeting that there will uh, not be any uh, preconditions uh, attached to the uh, peace process and uh, with the demands of uh, the Taliban, many observers uh, uh, fear that the talks may once again uh, lead to a deadlock. Well, yes. Daniel, we know that two previous meetings were held in January and this is the third meeting of this kind. Uh, what are the major hurdles? Uh, well, there are uncertainties about uh, the success of the talks uh, with the increase in uh, Taliban attacks across Afghanistan um, and uh, the capture of territory over, uh, the, over the past year. Now, reportedly, most of the discussions the Four Nation uh, Group uh, has held until now have uh, focused on uh, bridging uh, the trust deficit that exists uh, uh, between Pakistan and Afghanistan. The two uh, countries uh, blame each other for harboring militant groups and uh, spo uh, sponsoring uh, cross-border uh, terrorist attacks. Now, now, experts say militancy on uh, both uh, sides of the border cannot uh, be tackled unless uh, there is a cooperation between uh, Pakistan and Afghanistan. So observers uh, say that uh, the formal start of dialogue between the Afghan uh, government and Taliban still uh, seems to be months away. Thank you very much. Our correspondent Daniel Hahn in Islamabad.